Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me on this exciting journey as we continue building this project in Kenya. In the last video, as you saw, the second floor had been cast and the contractors were already getting restarted on the walls. Uh, and since then, things have actually moved pretty quickly. So after the second floor had kind of semi-cured, the columns were set up all the way and they also went ahead and cast the second floor. And in this shot right here, as you can see, some of the walls are up to the appropriate height or the full height of the second floor. The work on this site is moving rather fast. And one thing you will notice is the impressive speed at which these contractors are working. What you're just seeing right here in this clip is work that was completed just two days after the second floor had dried enough to start up on the walls. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but the second floor layout is supposed to be three ensuite bedrooms, a cozy living area, and of course, a balcony. And this balcony is going to have a sliding door that's going to be perfect for taking in the views. I know this building and this area doesn't have much of views outside of the windows, but I figured as time moves on and as this area gets developed, um, sitting outside on the balcony and just taking in the views will be a good way to end the day after you know a long day of work. I'm just excited to see this project take shape as it is. Now, speaking about progress, the next phase is going to be obviously putting on the roof and the materials for the roof have already started arriving. This includes some of the timber and even some of the sheet metal we're going to be using for the roof. For the timber, we opted to get a pressure treated termite resistant timber because as you know, the roof is just as critical as the foundation. If you skimp on the budget and get a poorly made roof, this is going to cause issues down the road. I'm talking about things like leakage and stuff like that. So you got to make sure that you invest in the right materials from the jump, from the get go. I'm going to cover the roof in a different, more detailed video in the future because I think the level of detail and all the stuff that went into the roof I think it deserves to have its own separate video discussing that. And as you can see, as the walls have gone up and the structure has grown, we have definitely attracted some onlookers. Some people have been stopping by the road, taking pictures, which is kind of fun. It's still rough around the edges, but as you can see, the building is coming together piece by piece. I cannot wait for the full structure. As a matter of fact, I cannot wait to reveal the structure that is on site right now because these videos are from like a few weeks back. And of course, with, the, with less than a week left, the contractors managed to get all the walls up to the full height and they managed to go ahead and set the lintels and of course the ring beam. The next big step was going to be casting of this uh, ring beam, which took about two to three days. All the work that went into casting, the ring beam, the lintels, and all that other stuff was done manually. In this shot, you can see the workers, you know, try to uh, throw the sand from the ground all the way to the second floor. And when they actually mix the sand, the ballast, and the cement together, they had to manually put it in buckets and hand it over to the person sitting at the top of the ring beam to cast it into the uh, uh, ring beam itself. So a lot of hard work goes into every part of this building. Now I wanted to change gears actually and talk a moment, take a moment and talk about um, something I mentioned in the last video and that is the floating staircase that we're building. Now, I talked to my sister during this phase, this phase of the building of the project and she told me that the foreman had shared some concerns about executing the architect's design because the architect, from my you know, information I gave to the architect, I mentioned that I would like to have a floating staircase that uh, takes you from, of course, from the ground floor to the you know, second floor. 
But my sister did tell me that after a few days, the uh, foreman and his uh, crew had managed to figure out, you know, how to fix the staircase. And they went ahead and were able to cast the staircase. So once this is complete, once this staircase is fully complete and the tiles have been put on the whole line, I think it's going to be the standout feature of this house. Finally, I want to talk about the concrete. Now, in a very earlier video, I talked about how I was impressed by how Australians build their houses using concrete. Obviously, they have a reason for that. I admire how houses come out once, you know, they're built with concrete, the smooth line, the lack of, you know, any keyed sections or exposed brick and stuff like that. So exactly 30 days after the false work, I'm talking about the little uh, poles of trees that were holding up the cast second floor were put in place. The team started removing them. And of course, it revealed a beautifully cured concrete underneath. It's always rewarding to see something looking so clean and solid after all that work. Anyway, folks, this is a wrap for this week. The second floor ring beam is in place and we're getting ready for the next major step. We are gonna be putting on the roof. As a matter of fact, one of the photos I've included in this video is of the roof that has been done. It's been an exciting journey so far, and I, I cannot wait to share more. There is a lot more to come. Thank you for tagging along, and if you have already you know, subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. In the meantime, I'm asking you, Hit the like button for the algorithm. Consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell and so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you.